Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rick with Rick's Hobby Garage. Today I want to talk to you about this white fuzzy stuff that I have found on my cactus. A few years ago, I, we had a cactus in the front yard that uh, wasn't looking so good. It had this white stuff on it and it was really just dying. Uh, we would water it a lot. We thought it was some kind of fungus but because we didn't really know anything about it and the cactus was not looking so good, we ended up just taking the whole thing out, which was kind of unfortunate because that cactus uh, put off this fruit that the, um, this guy from the local shelter liked to collect for the tortoises. And the tortoises really liked that fruit. Um, but because we had ended up taking it out, uh, we were never able to continue providing that fruit for those tortoises. Um, since then, I've gotten this, uh, a few of these cactus paddles from a, a friend of mine, and that was a, it's a very similar type of cactus to what we had in the front yard. And it, it, uh, this cactus has now put out some more paddles and whatnot. And before we put it in the ground, we, wanted, we put it in these pots, so that way we can make sure that they grow uh, nicely and, we can take care of them, they get some roots established and whatnot. Um, but a couple weeks ago, I noticed that they are coming up with this white stuff on this cactus again. And when sometime after we took that ca cactus out in the front yard, uh, I wrote a blog article. It's called White Stuff on My Cactus. If you want to go and check it out on our website, rickshobbygarage.com. And uh, I, during that time I was finding, uh, doing some research and found ways to treat that white stuff and actually found out what it actually was. And now that we have this cactus that is doing the same thing, I thought I'd create this video for you to share this information that we found. Um, so when you look at it, it's a, it's kind of white, it kind of looks a little fuzzy. and certain portions of it, like I said, if you were to smear it, it will look sticky. But when you smear it, it actually turns red. And that was kind of cool, but weird at the same time. And was after doing some of this research, I found that it was not a fungus. It is actually a pest infestation. And I was like, well, what kind of pest would create this? Well, it's actually mealybugs, uh, which is which are also called cochineal insects. Um, these mealybugs, it's a type of scale insect that are soft body and slow moving. The I believe it's the um, the females have wings and the males do not might be the other way around, I, I don't really recall. Um, but what you are seeing here are actually the nymphs. So the female will lay the eggs and then you get nymphs. And these nymphs put this white coating over them to help protect them from the elements and other insects. So this white stuff is kind of a, I guess a, a waxy type coating. And, but the unfortunate part is if you get too many on the cactus, these insects suck the juices out of the cactus and end up killing it. So if, if you have a little bit on it, it's really not a big deal. What the problem is is they spread. And so you don't want too many of, uh, too much of this on these cactuses, otherwise it will just kill it. And I mentioned that this uh, when, when you smear this stuff, it creates this red, uh, red stuff on it. The fascinating part with that is it's, that red stuff is used in dyes. And those dyes are in your food, in cosmetics, and a few other different types of products. So it's in your food. You're eating these insects. Uh, when you look at the different ingredients on a package of food, you'll see that you know you might see like uh, 
red colors or uh, like the natural red four, Crimson Lake, uh, Carmine Lake, and E120. Um, that's, that's a few of the different red colors that are used with this red dye. The non-natural stuff you will read as, I believe it's a red number 30 and red number 40, which are petroleum or car, coal tar type materials. Doing a little research on this a while back, I found that there is a few different ways you can treat these millibuds. One of them is uh, if you got a really bad pad a paddle, maybe like this one here, it's got a whole bunch of it, you might consider cutting that one off. Uh, I'm not going to do that with this one because the paddle still looks like it's in good shape. I'm going to try treating it in other ways. Uh, some of those other ways could be using insecticidal soap uh, that you could spray on it and it will help uh, suffocate the pest. Uh, same with neem oil. Uh, the problem that I have with those is you usually got to do that when the sun's down uh, with or if you don't have direct sunlight because it could burn the cactus paddle. Another way that I've heard people have good luck with is just using a high pressure water stream from your garden hose. So that's what we are going to go and do this time. And if it doesn't work, then I'll probably go over to insecticidal soap or neem oil. Are these here? Go ahead and bring it up close so you can see what these what this looks like. That's I believe that's the insect. <laughs> 